Hello, today we're going to talk about the unique sport, goalball. Unique is something that is unlike anything else. I want you to watch this quick video of elite goalball athletes playing the sport goalball. And while you're watching it, keep in mind that all of the athletes are visually impaired or they are blind. One of the things that makes goalball a unique sport is the type of ball that they use. The goalball is about the same size as a basketball, but it weighs almost twice as much. Another thing about a basketball is that it bounces really easily, whereas the goalball does not. But you probably heard some sounds coming out of this goalball. Remember, the sport of goalball is played by athletes who are blind or who have visual impairments. So the goalball actually has several bells inside. That's how goalball players are able to block a ball to protect their goal, or that's how they're able to receive a pass from one of their teammates. I've actually seen some of my friends who play goalball make a homemade goalball by getting a foam ball or a Nerf type ball and wrapping it in a grocery bag and then tying a knot in the grocery bag and they can safely pass the ball to a partner inside their home because this will make sounds when you roll it. It's a very loud sounding rolling ball now because of the grocery bag. In today's activity, you're not going to need a goal ball or a ball with a grocery bag wrapped around it, but you are going to need to make several sock balls. This will keep it very safe for playing inside your home. And you're going to need some sort of laundry basket or cardboard box. Make certain it's kind of big because you're gonna want a nice big target. In just one moment, I'm going to go through the critical elements of the goal ball throw. When you watched that video, you saw some of the players forcefully roll a ball to their opponent's goal to try to score a point. They call that throwing in the sport of goal ball, but actually it's more closely related to a bowling roll. Let me show you the critical elements involved with the goal ball throw. Start off by being in a basic athletic stance. Next, swing the ball back during the approach, then lower your body as you release the ball and follow through. Okay, let me go over the equipment once again that you're going to need for today's challenge. Several sock balls, a basket, which will be your target, and I forgot one other very important piece of equipment that you're going to need. Either a radio or a cell phone that will be able to play music. Remember, you're going to have to rely on your sense of hearing. You're not going to be able to use your sense of sight for this activity. I want you to replicate what it may be like to pass or shoot a ball in the sport of goalball. So this is what you're going to do. Set your sock balls down. Take a couple of steps, set your target down, turn on some music on your cell phone or your radio. Place it behind your target so that you'll be able to hear where your target is. Then I need you to sit down, close your eyes, listen for the music 
to help you locate your target and practice rolling the ball and see if you can make it land inside the target. Once you've rolled all your balls, open your eyes and look to see how many successful shots you've made. You may want to try to see how many shots you can get out of five attempts. Good luck. Okay, this next activity that I want you to try, you are going to need to feel comfortable enough to be able to stand up and attempt the shot on your target. And you're also, and this is very important, you're also going to need a big empty space. This activity is just for the goal ball throw, which is really a roll, and not to be used to keep your eyes closed and walk around your house. That would just be completely dangerous. So do not do that. But this is what it should look like. You're gonna have your sock balls close by. And if you're comfortable, you're gonna practice that movement that I showed you earlier. So look at your target, close your eyes, take that step and roll. Open your eyes and see how close you got. You may also want to turn up the music a little bit louder so you can locate your target. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna pick up my ball, I'm gonna square up to my target, I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna listen, and I'm gonna do the movement. Open your eyes, how close did you get to your target? Remember, if you're continuously hitting that target, make it more challenging by increasing the distance from where you're standing to where your target is. I hope you enjoyed these goalball activities. If you would like to learn more about goalball, check out the video link that I provided in today's lesson. Have a great day.